construction at Deer Creek Station is about 85% complete. That means it looks like the plant is ready to run. But we talked to project manager Gavin McCollum about what's left to be finished and some of the major milestones that happened over the summer and fall. The workers for Bolt Construction are tightening up the last of the bolts on the steam generator at Deer Creek Station. A lot of this type of work is wrapping up. Most of the major mechanical is all done, a lot of the piping is done, and now the big push is the electrical and controls. Gavin McCollum is the project manager on Deer Creek. Construction started in July 2010. And as you can see, they've pretty much finished the plant, the shell of it, the outside. Uh, it looks now when you drive by pretty much the way it's going to look when, when it's done, uh, and it looks nice. And on the inside, major mechanical work is finished. The turbines and generators were placed on their pedestals in August 2011. The stack was topped out in August too. They started it over there and they'd set it down in sections. They'd move it over here and they'd kind of lift them in place. And, I mean, once they had them all put together and lifted the last one up, it didn't take long, but there was a lot of prep work. The air-cooled condenser is almost complete. The wind walls are going up, some of the last pieces to put in place. In mid-December, the electrical system reached back feet meaning electricity was successfully fed from the transmission grid back to the plant. McCollum says this project has been a great experience for the Basin Electric engineers on site. It's a whole bit different world than being an engineer back in the office and they're kind of getting exposed to that, so it's, good. it's a good thing. Mechanical field engineers Matt Ehrman and Gary Hager, electrical field engineers Joe Volk and Steve Mundahl, and construction coordinators Lucas Teagan and Craig Meilenberg are the Basin Electric engineers who've lived near the plant site for months to oversee construction. I think they've learned a lot and they're going to come back with knowledge of not, this, not only this facility but uh, how we can use that knowledge for other facilities that we build or support. So it'll be invaluable experience for them. It's been hard. They worked long hours, they were away from their families for months and months, and uh, it's not easy, but uh, I think they've I think they've come out of it happy that they were here. In February, Contractor Bolt Construction will turn the plant over to Basin Electric for commissioning. Later this spring, the plan is to fire the gas turbine for the first time. McCollum says there are about 400 contract workers still on site and about 25 Basin Electric Operations employees. The plant will be turned over to operations this year. At Deer Creek Station with producer Jared Barnhart, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen.